V was disrespected, BTS is being taken advantage of, J-Hope paid for all the expenses, and Jin's new job. Stick around until the end to find out more. BTS fans are unhappy with BTS's company. Big Hit Music has come under scrutiny from fans after they posted a controversial article on their social media platforms. The post in question, which appeared on September 30th, included a piece by South Korean journalist Lee Sun Myung, triggering significant backlash from the BTS fan community. Fans have accused Iseon Myung of repeatedly spreading damaging falsehoods about BTS and exhibiting a consistent bias in his reporting on the group. Despite previous complaints lodged with big hit music regarding the journalist's coverage, fans assert that the company has failed to take appropriate action. The recent social media share by big hit music has intensified fans' grievances as they perceive it as an oversight of their repeated concerns. This has sparked numerous comments from fans online, criticizing both big hit music and its umbrella organization, Hybe Labels, for what they believe is a failure to adequately defend BTS. Many supporters have taken to various platforms to express their dissatisfaction, pointing out the seeming ineffectiveness of big hit music's process for handling feedback and complaints. Some have questioned whether the company genuinely considers their input or if their complaint mechanisms are merely for show. They also lament the absence of legal steps taken by the agency against what they view as unjust attacks on the group's integrity. This series of events has cast a spotlight on the tensions between BTS's fan base and the group's management regarding how criticism and negative media coverage are handled. Fans continue to express their disappointment and are calling for more direct actions and transparency from the company to protect BTS. And this isn't the only reason fans are unhappy with Big Hit. Recently, Big Hit Music announced the nominations of two BTS members for the 2024 UK Music Video Awards through their official account on X. V received a nomination for Best Pop Video International with his video, Friends. While RM was nominated in three categories, Best Alternative Music Video International, Best Production Design in a Video, and Best Visual Effects in a Video for his video, Lost. Despite the agency's acknowledgement of both artists in their social media post, fans expressed disappointment over how the nominations were communicated. Concerns were raised particularly about the visibility given to V's nomination. Fans pointed out that although both artists were tagged in the initial post, subsequent posts focused solely on RM's achievements. This led to a wave of reactions from the international fan community, who used hashtags to demand fair treatment and separate acknowledgement for V's accomplishments. Fans criticized the agency for not making a separate post exclusively celebrating V's nomination and for perceived inconsistencies in their promotional activities. Additionally, fans highlighted other instances of what they perceive as unequal treatment, such as the release of BTS members' solo project Vinyls, where they claim V's layover. Vinyl release was not promoted in the same manner as those of other members. This has sparked further discussion and calls for action among fans urging the company to address their concerns about fairness and transparency in promoting all members of BTS equally. What do you think? Are the concerns raised by fans valid? Also, BTS is being taken advantage of. In South Korea, a controversy has erupted involving a BTS-themed tourism package reportedly sold without the necessary permissions from HYBE or Big Hit Music. On September 28th, SBS News revealed that a travel agency had been offering tours that include visits to street murals of BTS members V and Suga in Daegu, their hometown. The murals have become a significant draw for K-pop enthusiasts. Since July, the agency promoted the itinerary which featured these murals, suggesting that visiting the street where they are located is essential for fans. The murals in question were created by a prominent Chinese fan club and have been positioned in significant locations. However, this sale breached publicity rights, which protect the unauthorized use of celebrities' images or likenesses for commercial purposes. Both the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, and the Visit Korea Committee were involved in promoting this package, further compounding the issue. The Ministry circulated press releases about the tour, and the committee posted details about it online, although those details have since been removed following the backlash. HYBE stated that they were unaware of the travel agency's actions and have requested a halt to the tour to protect their artists' intellectual property rights. The company emphasized 
that they had no prior knowledge of the business venture. Further, the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism has expressed its intent to investigate the matter thoroughly and take necessary actions based on their findings. Meanwhile, a lawmaker from the Democratic Party has also spoken out against the infringement, stressing the importance of safeguarding the rights of cultural icons like BTS to prevent exploitation. Recently, J-Hope has made headlines not just for his imminent military discharge, but also for his generous acts among his military peers. As he approaches his discharge date this October, J-Hope organized a special gathering for his fellow service members, fully funding the event to show his appreciation for their hard work and camaraderie. The event took place with a group of soldiers who were seen in a photo online, holding a banner that expressed their thanks to J-Hope. The soldiers, evidently pleased with the gesture, used the online platform to share their gratitude, adding a caption that highlighted J-Hope's message, encouraging them to enjoy the event as a reward for their efforts. This act of kindness has resonated with fans and the general public alike, underscoring J-Hope's reputation for his compassionate nature. Moreover, this isn't the first time J-Hope has been in the news for his philanthropy. Just 10 days prior, media reports revealed that he has been sponsoring an abandoned dog center in Busan for the last three years, further showcasing his commitment to charitable causes. J-Hope, who enlisted in the military last April, is scheduled to be officially discharged on October 17th, and fans are eagerly anticipating his return. His actions during his service have certainly painted a picture of a star who remains grounded and thoughtful, irrespective of his fame. Recently, Jin has taken on a new role as the first male global ambassador for the renowned skincare brand, Laneige. This appointment highlights his growing influence and appeal in the beauty industry. Jin expressed his excitement about this collaboration, stating his enthusiasm to embark on this beauty journey with Laneige and his eagerness to introduce their upcoming projects to fans worldwide. The announcement was accompanied by a series of campaign photos that showcased Jin's acclaimed worldwide handsome features, drawing significant admiration from fans and consumers alike. The simplicity of his attire in the photos accentuated his natural appeal, leading to a flurry of positive reactions across social media. Fans praised his luxurious and neat appearance with many noting how clean and good-looking he appeared, which spurred immediate interest in the Laneige products he endorsed. This partnership has not only thrilled fans, but also boosted consumer engagement with the brand, as evidenced by numerous fans claiming to have purchased the Laneige products immediately after seeing Jin's campaign. His ability to resonate so well with the audience has been a testament to his fit as a brand ambassador, a sentiment echoed by many who commented on how perfectly he represents the brand's image. Before this role with Laneige, Jin had already established himself in the fashion and beauty space as a global ambassador for Gucci, where his unique style and charismatic personality left a lasting impact. This continuing trend of high-profile endorsements underscores Jin's widespread popularity and his effectiveness in engaging with a global audience through various brands. On October 1st, the latest installment of Jin's popular web series, Run Jin, aired on the official YouTube channel of BTS. This eighth episode featured a playful continuation with guest Jisyeok Jin, who had also appeared in the previous episode. The duo participated in a lively name tag race, aiming to collect tags labeled Kim Seok Jin and Ji Seok Jin by outmaneuvering others with the same name. During the competition, Jin devised a playful strategy by offering 100,000 Korean won to entice the participants, a move that saw one participant fall for the ploy. However, in a twist at the end of the race, instead of cash, Jin presented his autograph to the participant. Jin humorously remarked that he couldn't give away money, thus the autograph as a special token. This episode sparked significant attention and adoration from fans online, particularly for Jin's humorous and thoughtful gesture. The internet was abuzz with fans praising Jin's charm and generosity, highlighting how his autograph, a personal touch from the star, was perceived as more valuable than the monetary prize he initially promised. Fans expressed their delight, noting the sentimental worth of Jin's signature. Comments from viewers varied, with many expressing that the autograph was indeed more precious than money. Fans were particularly charmed by the interaction between Jin and the game participant, discussing how meaningful and cute the exchange was. 
Some speculated that the autograph could fetch more than 100,000 won if sold, but they hoped it would be treasured instead. The mix of humor, personal interaction with fans, and the playful setup of the episode clearly resonated well with the audience, further cementing Jin's reputation not only as a talented artist, but also as an endearing personality capable of engaging fans in unique and memorable ways. Also, in a recent poll conducted by My One Pick from September 17th to 21, BTS Jin was selected as the idol most likely to exhibit exceptional filial piety towards his parents. Jin secured a commanding lead in the voting. In recognition of this distinction, a special video advertisement celebrating Jin's achievement will be displayed prominently in a building near Gangnam Station in Seoul from October 23rd to 27. Jin's reputation for being a devoted son is well known among his fans and the public. He has often shared stories about his close relationship with his parents. For instance, Jin has spoken about the numerous trips his father took him on during his childhood, which were not only enjoyable but also educational. Additionally, it's common knowledge among BTS members that Jin frequently engages in lengthy and warm-hearted conversations with his mother over the phone, further illustrating his deep familial affection. Jin's appeal extends beyond just his family-oriented image. He has topped several other themed polls, reflecting his widespread popularity and the various facets of his public persona. These include being voted as the star who feels like he's from your hometown, a testament to his relatable nature, star you can't help but fall for at first sight, indicating his immediate charm, and star with national representative visuals, acknowledging his standout appearance. Further accolades include being named the star whose glasses fit perfectly, star who shines for the brand, and best of summer. His talents and passions have also led to him being voted as the vocalist we want to see in a musical and the representative star for Pet Love, showcasing his versatility and the diverse reasons for his popularity. This array of titles reflects not only Jin's impact as a performer, but also the deep connection and admiration his fans feel towards him. His consistent acknowledgement in various fan polls highlights his enduring appeal and the multifaceted reasons why fans and the general public appreciate him. In other news, Big Hit Music announced the initiation of Hit It Base 2024, a new training initiative targeting young male hip-hop enthusiasts. The program is set to commence on November 9th and will continue until December 15th, offering free professional training to teenage boys interested in hip-hop music. This specialized program is designed to nurture the talents of young aspiring hip-hop artists by providing them with expert guidance in various aspects of the music industry, including songwriting, stage performance, and styling. It aims to equip participants with the necessary skills to excel in their artistic endeavors. The training will conclude with a final show on December 15th, where participants will have the opportunity to showcase their skills. The event will be hosted by the popular YouTuber Mimi Minu and will feature a performance by renowned rapper Kid Millie. Furthermore, standout performers from the program will have the chance to appear on the Rising Verse segment of Dingo Music's YouTube channel, providing them with a platform to reach a broader audience. Hit It Base 2024 Inches is open to boys born between 2006 and 2014 who have a strong passion for hip-hop and a desire to express their personal experiences through music. Interested individuals are invited to apply through Big Hit Music's official audition website from September 30th to October 27th. Applicants are required to submit a short video that demonstrates their hip-hop skills and a front-facing photograph. Only 20 participants will be selected for this exclusive training program, emphasizing the competitive and prestigious nature of this opportunity. Bong PD, the influential figure behind Hybe Corporation, recently caught the attention of fans and netizens with his transformed appearance. On October 2nd, he took to social media to share a photograph of himself from Tokyo, where he was celebrating Cat's Eye's first promotional tour in Asia. Cat's Eye is a global girl group formed through a collaborative survival audition project between Hybe and Geffen Records called the Debut Dream Academy. In the shared photo, fans and followers quickly pointed out that Bong PD looks significantly slimmer than in previous images. This change sparked a flurry of comments online, with many expressing surprise and support for his new look. Others noted that he seemed to have undergone significant emotional changes, which might have influenced his physical transformation. Bong PD's post not only highlighted his physical changes, 
but also served as a moment to celebrate the success of Cat's Eye on their first promotional venture in Asia, marking a significant milestone for the new girl group under the Hybe and Geffen Records partnership. And is Netflix destroying the South Korean entertainment industry? Actress Kim Ha Newell recently shared some eye-opening insights about the shifting dynamics within the South Korean entertainment industry. During an appearance on a YouTube channel, she expressed a newfound appreciation for receiving script offers, a stark contrast to earlier in her career when opportunities were plentiful, and she often found herself asking for breaks between projects. This change highlights the current challenges facing actors in securing roles in an increasingly competitive market. The South Korean media industry is reportedly undergoing one of its toughest periods in a decade, with significant disruptions attributed to the rise of global streaming services like Netflix. Industry insiders have noted a dramatic reduction in the number of dramas being produced, a trend that is not only affecting the availability of roles, but also the overall vibrancy of the domestic media landscape. This downturn has been particularly challenging for well-established actors like Kim han Newell and her colleague Go hyun Young, who revealed that she is struggling to find any roles at all, to the extent that she is willing to reduce her appearance fees and accept non-leading parts. Adding to the industry's woes, a significant number of films remain unreleased, sitting in storage as they fail to secure slots in theaters. This backlog is symptomatic of a broader decline in broadcasting revenue, marking the first such downturn in a decade. The repercussions of this trend extend across various segments of the media industry, from terrestrial TV to cable and satellite broadcasting, each recording declines in revenue. Amid these challenges, academic experts and industry professionals convened at a joint seminar to discuss the crisis facing the broadcasting market. They pinpointed the enormous production budgets of global over-the-top platforms as a central factor forcing domestic broadcasters to scale back their content creation efforts. This environment has created a highly selective market where only a few actors secure lucrative deals, exacerbating inequalities within the industry. The seminar underscored the urgency of addressing these imbalances. Proposals were made for reducing regulations on domestic broadcasters and increasing oversight on global OTT platforms to ensure a more level playing field. Public reaction to these developments has been mixed, with some netizens questioning the role of high actor fees in escalating production costs, while others defended the industry, suggesting that quality, not quantity, should be the focus in drama production. The debate continues as stakeholders search for viable solutions to revive the industry and sustain the Korean wave.